Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds and this is The Hookup. Today I want to talk about the Next Gen Baits Wounded Rattle Shad. This is a rattling soft plastic from Next Gen Baits, nextgenbaits.com if you want to check them out. It comes in four and a half to five and a half to seven inch models. I have the seven inch one here. I got this in my RLM Elite Pike box from Simple Fishing, simplefishing.ca if you want to check them out. The only subscription box on the market that has a dedicated pike box. This is clearly a good pike lure. It's seven inches, big baits for big fish, that's what you want. It's got this really awesome, long, skinny fork tail, all kinds of action in the water with that. It's got this photorealistic, I don't know if it's paint or, or how it's on the plastic there, it doesn't feel like paint, it just feels like plastic. Um, so however they laser scan that on or whatever, I don't know. Um, but it's super, super lifelike. It's got all kinds of details in the fins. It's got the scales, the gills, the eyes are really detailed. It's even got the mouth lines, all different kinds of the, the jaw, hinge, joint. Everything is on here that you would see on a real fish. It's super, super lifelike. So I really, really like that about it. It's a very soft, pliable plastic. You can see I'm kind of fidgeting with it and waving it around here. But durable. You can stretch this out. You can twist it around. You can rip it or try and rip it, It's uh, it can take a beating. I've put a whole bunch of hooks through this particular one and I can still twist and, and yank on it and it's not doing any extra damage to it. Another feature that I like about this particular lure is the rattle. It actually is a small little tube with a bead in it and it is very easy to replace, just like that. So if you wanted a different rattle uh, if you're into sort of modifying lures like that, you can put a more aggressive or a more, more subtle rattle in there. There's a nice channel in there that'll fit all kinds of rattle tubes. So you have that ability to customize. I like the one that's in it that came with it. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice rattle for what it is already. So I just left that, but I do like the ability to change it out. You've got the belly gaps and the back gaps for a weedless setup. So you could also Texas or Carolina rig this um, or just throw it as is and run it weedless if you're fishing for bass. Um, one thing with pike, I had to basically not use it as intended for pike. Um, with pike, it's just the way that they grab onto lures. The weedless setup doesn't give as reliable a hookup for pike in my experience, or at least around here. It could be different elsewhere. Um, so I use a long, straight, basic J-hook style with a long shank. So what I want is the hook sticking out the back as if I was jigging it, sort of like that. That gives me a better hookup for pike. The way that pike grab on to the bait, they kind of come in from the side and from behind and they grab on and then after, after they've caught it, then they slowly work their prey around into their mouth to swallow it using their tongue and their teeth and all that stuff. It's not like a bass, a largemouth bass or a smallmouth bass where they come in and they vacuum the whole thing into their mouth and then that weedless setup works a little bit better. So as is with the weedless hook that comes with it, great for bass. If you want to go for pike, like I specifically target pike, um, you're gonna have to just make sure you have a variety of hooks on hand. Nice thing about this, because it's such a good solid plastic, I ran through a few different types of hooks before I found one that I liked and I just kept using the exact same plastic. Didn't have to worry about destroying it, so that is a really good feature about it, is the durability. But just something to be aware of if you are fishing for pike. You will want different hooks for different targets. That kind of goes with any lure, though. So it's all about being aware of what you're fishing for and where you fish for them. So as for the actual action of the wounded shad in the water, why is it called a wounded shad? It's really, really obvious once you put this in the water why it's called a wounded shad. You, If you don't have any extra weights on it, if you just put the hook in, cast it out, it will sink, and it sinks in this awesome dying fish sort of side-to-side -side pattern that just, it looks so lifelike. If you take a minnow, if you have a, you know, minnows for bait, and you take a dead one, and you chuck it in the water and just watch it sink, that's exactly what this looks like. Chuck this in the water, watch it just sink down. That dying, dead fish action, 
pike, bass, even walleye, it'll drive them insane. I know for me, fishing for pike, they love that action. Got all kinds of bites on this. This one you can see is really beat up. It's all chewed up where the pike were grabbing on from the backside here. Um, just great, great lure. My only real quibble with it is just the hook, um, but it's not specifically a pike lure, so I can't even really call that a quibble. It's not a negative, just that you have to have extra hooks if you're targeting pike. Uh, other than that, this, there's really nothing wrong with this lure that I can think of. It worked really good. The action was amazing. It comes in a variety of sizes, so you can target where you want to target the fish that you're going after. You can adjust your size appropriately, and it's durable. This one lure lasted me the whole time testing it. Didn't have to switch out at all. So. Highly recommend them. Nextgenbaits.com if you want to check them out. It's the Wounded Rattle Shad. And again, I got this from Simple Fishing in my RLM Elite Pike Box. So go check them out too if you want to get all kinds of new and exciting lures just like this in the mail every two months. It's like Christmas every two months. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are using these, what you think of them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out for the channel a lot. And as usual, until next time, I'll see you outside.